I've previously spoken about the priest king of Mahindra Daru, who was discovered in the ruins of the ancient city in the 1920s. Uh, he dates from the mature phase of this civilization between 2600 and 1900 BC, when it was a flourishing urban society with extensive trade networks, sophisticated city living, a written script, and um, many sophisticated industries relating to bead making, pottery, metallurgy, and the like. There's been relatively few stone sculptures found. Uh, most of them are fragmentary. Uh, one sculpture I wanted to talk about today is in the National Museum in Delhi. It's um, not very well displayed. It's placed rather low, so uh, I think he deserves a better place, perhaps on a plinth surrounded by a glass case so you can walk around him. There are strange proportions of the uh, sculpture in that the face is very large compared to the head and the ears are small and shell-like. But what is most impressive about this head, and it's about seven inches high, in other words, it's as large as the priest king. So it presumably formed part of a much larger statue at some point, and indeed there have been other headless statues found which have the figure sitting in a squatting position with one knee up not seated on a throne or some chair. And uh, this is unique to this civilization, this, this particular posture. Big question is, who are these men? Uh, they are, it has been speculated, perhaps important uh, clan heads or priests or somebody of status. And why these sculptures were made and why they were kept in the home uh, it's been speculated that they are perhaps there to honour a important ancestor, um, just to honour a great man and keep him with his family. The thing about the uh, priest's head here is the expressiveness in the face. The um, archaeologists who found it made the comment that uh, the modelling of the cheeks and lips is sensitive and the rendering of the hair schematic but expressive. The excavator remarked that it looks as if some attempt at portraiture has been made. I agree. When photographed from a particular angle, this is a very expressive face that's looking out from those ancient nights, and we can only speculate what life was like in these ancient cities when people look back perhaps honouring their ancestors. The exciting thing about the Indus civilization is that new discoveries are being made all the time. It's like a giant puzzle that's slowly being put together. And the biggest mystery of all, of course, is the script, which remains undeciphered. But I look forward to every new discovery there, piecing together how these ancient people lived.